70,000 Nigerian Naira's minimum wage, not fuel hike, a Jero. In a recent televised interview, the president of the Nigeria Labor Congress, NLC, Joe Ajero, shed light on the twists and turns that led to the accepted 70,000 Nigerian Naira's minimum wage in a meeting with President Bola Tinubu. Ajero divulged that the president had initially proposed to the NLC that the subsidy on petroleum products be removed to make room for an increase in the minimum wage to the requested 250,000 Nigerian Nairas. The offer was swiftly rejected by the NLC, prompting the president to give them an hour to deliberate on their decision and return with an answer. After a week of consideration, the NLC returned to the negotiating table with a firm stance on their mandate to discuss only the minimum wage, settling on an agreement of 70,000 Naira. Ajero remained steadfast in his conviction, challenging the notion that the president may have reneged on an alleged agreement with the NLC to maintain fuel prices. The story of the NLC's dogged pursuit of a higher minimum wage, despite the ever-shifting landscape of economic and political dynamics, is a parable for the significance of organized labor in safeguarding the rights and well-being of workers in Nigeria.